We turn now to the pursuit of a career in faith and younger generations. Fewer millennials are choosing a life of religious service, leaving a declining number of nuns under 40 years old to carry on the tradition. And ABC Steve Osinsami met up with a few sisters to learn what inspired them to answer God's call. On this Saturday afternoon in Cincinnati, 32-year-old Colleen O'Toole is making an agreement with her God. In a moment that's becoming more and more unusual for a young woman in America, she's becoming a nun. There's concern today that young people aren't interested anymore in a life of religious service. Between you and your God. And that there's a crisis in the Catholic sisterhood. Less than 1% of the sisters are under 40. Sister Kelly Williams is working to become one of those nuns still in the life. Okay, what am I about to say? Like, I look very young. Yes. And I'm dressed normally. Yes. Or as normally as one of us. Yes. <laughs> but, you know, you don't really go out to bars, or do you? Or? This, I, I don't go out to bars like I would have when I was in college. I think I've had people be, like, surprised that, like, I like to listen to music and not all of it is religious, you know? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> She's a former college admissions counselor who lives in a Chicago apartment with four other sisters close to her age. So we pray together. She expects to take her final vows in a few years, officially becoming a Catholic sister with the Sisters of Mercy, one of the largest religious orders for Catholic women still left in the world. And she says she's not giving up her Facebook, Instagram, or TikTok accounts. I started making videos every Saturday. I make, you're welcome to follow it along. It's called Saturday Sisters Surprise. I'll get a message of someone who's saying like, I've had a really hard week and I look forward to Saturdays. And I'm like, oh, then this is why we do this. How does the sisterhood get more sisters who are in your age group? That is the question for the ages. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and I don't know that I have the answer to it because I think the reality is there was a time in history when people entered in droves. And sometimes because they had no other place to go. There are so many options that are available. It's about being called to this. Like, I, if, I could, if it was about recruitment, right. you could be in a different game. I see. But you aren't. Yeah. This yeah. is about God's call and responding to that. But part of that means, like, how do I talk about my experience as a religious so that someone else can go, oh, wait, I, I think I've heard things like this but I didn't know what it was. And maybe this is my own call. She and her roommates explain that young people today are more resistant to the structure of religious life and that many are turned off by the scandals of the Catholic Church. And they say that even though the Catholic sisters haven't been required to wear religious clothing since the 1960s, there's a tradition that frames what they do and who they are that as young people, they struggle to work past. The American memory is attached to the nun of yesteryear, yeah. you know, and it's very hard for us now to kind of be breaking through those stereotypes. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. They pray every day for their future, asking for strength, hope, and more young women to answer the call. Blessed our sister. As their scriptures tell them, God has plans. Wow, that's fascinating. And thank you so much for our Steve Olson Tommy for that report. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.